Okay, hey y'all, I'm back at my dentist appointment um, just to go over exactly what the dentures are that I'm getting since there was a misunderstanding before um, and finalize everything. So <sighs> he'll be in here shortly and I'm going to record it all for y'all to see and play it for you later so you guys can follow along this journey with me. Thank you for everyone who's helped donate. I'm nervous and anxious, excited, all of that. So, all right, um, wait for the doctor to get here. Start recording. Um, because Dr. Orstick is the one that's going to do the extractions? Yep, okay. yep. He gave me an estimate already for that, and mm -hmm. I told him I just wanted to see you one more time because of the misunderstanding in that, mm -hmm. just to finalize Another everything. Price, yeah. Yep, so. Okay. Um, could you show me what those enters look like again? In the regular ones? The ones that I'll be getting instead of the screw-in ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. So, this is just kind of like a prototype for you here. So, basically what you will get, and this will be more of an end result too, in which I haven't decided on yet. Okay. But it would either be a 3D printed one, mm -hmm. there you go. And those are not that nice. So Still better than what I have right now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, upper and lower. Oh, yep. And then those are printed, and these are our a milled denture. Oh. Those are nicer, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. But I was doing them printed, but uh, many of the cases now have been going to the to the milled ones. Hmm. Yeah. And they seem to have They're a little bit more comfort with them too. A little bit more comfort. That's but what you I don't wanted want to really ask white, you. Do you. Um, no, I was thinking about it. Can you show me kind of the color? You said you had a color in mind for mm -hmm. me. I don't want to look crazy bleached out teeth. No. I do want it to look natural. Is yeah. I just want to see. But at the same time, since I'm here, yeah. let's see. Wait. If you give me one minute here. Oh yeah. I just want to go get another shade guide here. Okay. And I gotta ask him how to take care of them too, because I thought you could use um, electronic toothbrushes with dentures, but you can't, or it's advised not to, it's too harsh for them. So we'll check with him and see. I'm more excited now. Now, is it not um, okay to use electronic, like electric toothbrushes on dentures? Um, probably a soft toothbrush. Just a soft yeah. toothbrush. Yeah. The okay. material itself is pretty strong. Like, there's a lot of materials out there, um, like denture bases, that are maybe not quite as strong as what we have as a milled denture. But um, but you could use if you felt that that's what you're comfortable with. But we'll give you a brush for that. Okay. okay. Lots of array of colors, hey? Yeah. Yeah. But I would stay away from the bleached. Okay. These ones here, stay away from that. Mm. Uh, the one thing I would suggest to you is that I when like we that go to do four. the transitional ones, we can go maybe a shade lighter than we have okay and then or a shade or two and then when you get to the one that we do is more of a permanent one for you we can change the shade and then go a hair lighter but you're not going from dark to white so you're kind of stepping it in stepping up a bit into mm. the shade i kind of don't like the yellow colors okay, I just want to see. So not this one here. Yep, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I like them too. Yeah. Yeah. The 
that shade is nice. Um, that way you're not getting something that's really white. Yeah, I don't want too um, light, even I though I... was watching some YouTube videos this morning. Oh, yeah? Implants. I've been doing so that do a lot, lot lately. That. Yeah. And, uh, man, there's some really white teeth out there. Yeah, I don't like that too fake look. Yeah. So I, I like these two here, guys. Yeah. This. You're, you're more grayer, though, if you want that. But they're more of a grayer shade. Hmm. Okay, so this is grayer. Mm. Oh yeah, I can I can see the hue to it now. Yeah, so even the C C two isn't too bad. Let's have a peek here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so that's in the grayer zone. Hmm. But if you look at the A1. I like that. Yeah. yeah, that's the one I would go with. Yeah, I like that Cause one. Because I don't really care what this is now. Mm -hmm. But you want to go with something like that. Now, Yeah. let's show your fans something. <laughs> you ready? Fans. Yeah. Oh, no. Now that's white. Yeah, that's too white. Yeah. But you put that Even all, with my skin, it yeah, doesn't look right. No. So that's a bleach shade, which would try to stay away from if possible. Mm -hmm. So if we went to there again with this, this shade here, that's still pretty natural. It's not the same, not the right size, but it's just the shade, right? Yeah. That you're looking for. Yeah, not yeah. bad. I like that one too. And then when it comes to, yes, I'll just... What is it about the position of your teeth? Is there anything that you want done differently? Hmm. Uh. Well, they've gone so bad now that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did have nice teeth at one point. Mm -hmm. I had braces for two years, headgear, everything, mm -hmm. and. Um, I mean, these two are kind of big. Mm -hmm. I've always thought they're long, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But. Yeah, because I think what we'll end up doing is we'll shorten these up a bit. And what we'll do in the uh, software is that we'll basically remove some bone vir virtually mm -hmm. and then move the tooth up. A little bit into the area so that it's a little bit shorter yeah I'd like that yeah and they'll look a little different because you're just missing sections of your teeth yeah because yeah. when those were good teeth I, I have been called triplet teeth like we talked mm -hmm. about before uh, mm -hmm. not because of the whiteness but just because of how they right. looked yeah but as far as the this, those ones like the cuspid here is, is a, a good size it's just gonna have to all be moved up um, so when the dentures made, it may end up looking like a little bit more of a stubbier tooth because of the room that we have. Mm -hmm. But then over time, once you're healing, this gap from here will go up because it'll recede. So okay. the bone will recede up. Okay. And then when we do the, um, that would be for the provisional denture, then the final denture would be more, we'd have more room up there okay. to be able to push the tooth up into the into that area. So what it might look like is that the tooth might look more like that. Mm -hmm. But then after you heal, then we'll be able to move the tooth up a little bit higher into position. Okay. Yeah. So that's why sometimes we use a printed denture is because I know there's going to be a lot of change. So we just roll with the printed one for a month or two. Mm -hmm. And then we can put you into a denture that's a bit better. But I think in your case, um, you know, you've got pretty decent bone there, so it might be better off just to do something about uh, with it being a uh, mill denture. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that hasn't changed. Mm -mm. No. So there's there's a little bit of 
work to do with you know when they go to do the extractions but uh, but like I say we end up just having the denture placed in as long as the bites correct we can deal with the with the fit okay and a lot of times I have to take the denture and make sure that the dentist can get them in otherwise they're in a cup and you're coming to the office with no teeth in so okay. I prefer that you leave the office with teeth in okay. they may not be fitting a hundred percent but at least they're in okay okay yeah but really with that um, it's just how we position the teeth for you and, and make them look a little nicer than what you've got at the moment okay yeah and it takes how long for healing before I see you again to make sure everything's the next day oh it's the next day okay. yeah because usually the next day and then it's about a week later again okay and then once we see you then it'll be all tailor to you okay depending on how you're doing so if you're doing really well we spread the appointment out if you're not then we get you in a bit sooner okay and then it takes 12 months for the bone to heal mm -hmm. now the tissue may appear to be all healed but it's the underlying bone that's got to alter yet mm. so when you take the bone and you pull those roots out the bone has to close and that's what takes time that's how everything starts to get smaller so the denture is big okay yeah by that time and so that's where we have to accommodate for all those changes afterwards so yeah okie dokie you're nervous now i'm nervous and excited anxious look at my mouth <laughs> yeah it's it's a big step and but, i can barely um, chew things now so yeah actually what i'd like to do just let me check here Okay. Um, what it is is just to give us a, a baseline of where you're biting now, your um, where your bite force is okay. with your natural teeth. And I want to see. So can you bite down pretty good with your teeth now? I mean, not really. Not without causing pain. Oh, okay. very high good bite low pressure when you bite hmm. where do you think you mm. be at? how strong of a bite do you think you'd be in here somewhere up in here I want to say yellow yellow okay yeah okay so what I'll do is we'll, we'll take a measurement here and I put a there's a little plastic um, piece on here for you to bite into okay Let's go ahead and get this lined up here. Okay. So, okay. So your front two teeth go right there. So we'll place that. And you bite down as hard as you can. A little harder if you can. Okay. In the four and open, and we'll do this again and bite really hard. Keep going, okay, and open and bite down again. Now we're cooking, we don't know what we're doing here, <laughs> and bite really hard. Open. We'll try that one more time and bite down and bite really hard. So I would say that your average is around 231. Okay. So we'll set here.
you're down in here. So you have... Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, when you get to a denture, you're probably going to drop into the red or into the black zone okay. when you first get it. And this would really mean that you only have about 20% a little bit more, maybe 25% of really good natural teeth. Mm. And that's why you say you can't bite hard because mm -hmm. of your natural teeth. So up in this zone or a normal zone, you should be in around here. So with regular dentures, you are still going to be around here. Mm -hmm. When you do, or if you ever do implants, you'll be running a little bit up into this zone mm. just, just because of the, the ability to have a lot, a lot more of a biting force. But the other problem you have is that you don't have teeth. Mm -hmm. So th that's why it's a deficit. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a good thing to know where your, where your baseline is. Yeah. And then we can test you after, you know, a couple months mm -hmm. and just see where you're at at that stage too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so. that'd be a fun test. <laughs> yes. So I keep this as a record here and then I... We'll follow up with that a little bit later. Okay. But other than that, um, do you have any other concerns or questions? Um, no, I'm not. Before you no. make the, the big step. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that I can see him within two weeks. And, okay. And get that done. Okay. So the only problem is is that on the 16th, uh, I'll be away from the 16th until the 3rd. Okay, so, so maybe we should talk to your back. Yeah, that's okay. correct. So it would have to be extractions and then see you on the same day? No, you, you get the extractions, you would come and get the denture. Okay. And then you go over to Dr. Blissick's office and then he'll extract the teeth, he'll have the dentures there, he'll place them in, and then you'll just go home and you'll rest up because okay. it's a big day. Okay. And then the next day, Rhonda will have a time booked for you for your checkup. Okay. And then we'll see how you're making out. And then we'll just go from there. Okay. Yeah. If we do it, yeah, if we do it um, after you're back then, my mm -hmm. husband can probably take a day or two off of work and yeah. um, cart me back and forth. Right. <laughs> um, but I, I think that would be the best. Uh, there are some okay. people that every year we do somebody at Christmas time. And that's what they choose to do. Some of those are one of the better patients because they're on their own and they know they have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. But it's not something I'd advise. It's better that if somebody's around for you after the fact. Because okay. uh, things can pop up. And to be honest, it might be better for you just to kind of enjoy Christmas and then get your mindset ready for uh, the, uh, the new year to happen some teeth. So. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll get Rhonda to schedule a time for you. Okay. Okay. And did they give you fees over there too? Yep. He gave me an estimate over there. Okay. And then, um, so, yep, we're all ready for all that. Right. <laughs> Rock and roll. Have a Merry yeah. Christmas. You too. Okay. Thank you. I'm excited to see you we'll next. See you in 2022. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm getting old, guys. Okay. No, you still